Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You came back. In this week's video, what I have for you is a baby boomer Manny. I'm so excited, you guys. I had a request to do a baby boomer, so I said, sure, I'll do that. So I did, and I think it turned out really good. It's just kind of, a, it's like a, um, the fuck word am I trying to think of? It's a really subtle baby boomer um, manicure, but I really like it. So hopefully that's something that you're into, and if you are, stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay, so baby boomers. Um, the colors I'm going to use, do you guys say Bet or Betty? Because I always say Betty, but then also it could be Bet. I don't know. And Aurora. So Aurora is kind of a pinky nude and Betty is like a white. Can also look a little pink, but it's a little more like forgiving. So that's the one we're going to use. I always like to look at the inside of the caps because it gives you like a general idea of what the color is going to look like, which looks kind of different than what they look like in the jar and then I think because I don't want to just do like a simple baby boomer by itself I'm gonna use dupesy like as an accent nail probably just my ring finger just a little glitter dupesy I love this color from diplomatic so liquids that I'm using I'm gonna use triple vitamin I have this ASP or no it's a Kuko. Kukio, Kukio Pro, whatever. I ordered it off Amazon because I didn't have any um, activator. I was running out, so I just like ordered it. And it was, I don't know. I, I'm not picky about my activator. I'm really, really, really not. So, and I also have like a plastic bag for when I do my glitter. I have my um, brush. I have clear powder. Mia Secret is what I always use. And I have like three um, makeup brushes. This is like a thinner, flat brush. This is like one I really like to use um, a lot of times. This one's like a thicker, fluffier brush. And then I have like this little brush that you can control a lot more with, but I don't know that I'll be using this one. Um, yeah, I'll probably be mostly using just this one. But anyway, all right, let's get into this. So, Bet and Aurora. And my nails right now, you guys, are um, kind of short, actually, um, on one hand and not on the other hand, because that's my life. But that's good. Um, so basically, you can just do the same thing if you have long nails. I find, okay, so with the baby boomer manicure, what I find you want to do is you kind of want to do like a French manicure, but ombre styled, if that makes sense. So you want to kind of keep your white, like where your white, like usually if I did an ombre, I'd like on this one, I try and bring it like kind of to the middle of the nail, but like with a baby boomer, you kind of want to bring it more up a little bit and have your like nude be down lower. Does that make sense? Okay. So I'm going to start. Okay. I have this neat little finger thing from liquid layers that I'm going to, I think I'm going to try and use today. I love liquid layers, guys. This is so cute. It's like this iridescent, cute color. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work for my thumb though, because it's down kind of low, but that's okay. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna paint the entire nail. all the way down to my cuticle. And I'm gonna start with white, I think. So I kind of tilt my thumb like the opposite that you would um, from, a, from the bottom ombre. And I'm just gonna do right along like this. And honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys, especially on your first go. Because you're gonna do probably two more anyway. So this is basically the same way I do any ombre, right? 
I just covered like basically the whole nail. Tap it off. We'll give that a second and then I'll come back and dust it. Do you want to take your toothpick and make sure that you're cleaning up around your cuticles. I do find with ombre it's like hard to clean around your cuticles though guys because it dries so quickly. Alright, let's dust that off and see how it went. Pretty, right? I'm just gonna do the thumb all the way through. I got a piece of glitter on there. Glitter is just kind of life. If you do any glitter dip powder at all, it's impossible to not get it literally everywhere. I'm gonna start with white again this time. And I like this flat, smaller one because I feel like I can control the powder like a little bit better. So on this last one, I'm gonna do my nude first, and then I'm gonna do my white. I think some people use like more of a pink color. This is actually, this is my first time using Aurora and it's actually looking kind of peachy on me. I don't know if that's how it's looking on camera. I got some peach in there. Just stir it up. You won't even, it's gonna disperse so much you can't even, you won't even see it in there. No worries. Take a toothpick, clean up around your cuticles. What do you guys think? It's a baby boomer. All right, on to the next one. Yeah, you know, I actually, I might want to do like one more because it is kind of thin. So we're gonna go one more pass. I am gonna do a dip of clear, so. But these triple vitamin liquids, guys, they're like, 
very thin. So if you've never used them before, keep that in mind. If you ever decide to use them. Let's just put some activator on it so we can just see what it's gonna, kind of what it's gonna look like. And I'm gonna do a dip of clear, but I'm gonna wait until I get done with all my nails so that'll be dry enough that I can do a base and then dip it um, without having to worry about my base getting messed up. Okay, let's move on to the next nail. I like it. It's very subtle. You could get a more extreme white by using more of a white powder, but I kind of just used um, Betty, which is, you know, like I said, it's kind of like a pink white, so it's a little subtle. I like subtle. So again, bring it down pretty close to your cuticle. Um, I think I'm gonna start with, I think I'll go back and forth. Haha, uh -huh, liquid layers because it makes applying the liquid easier. Most important thing to remember when doing stuff like this, guys, if you've never done it before, is just to go for it. Because the worst that's going to happen is you're not going to like it. And you just keep trying you know practice on swatches for sure and you know practice makes perfect And I keep wiping my brush off to try, because I'm using the same brush back and forth, so I'm just trying to get some of the Aurora out of my brush before going into Betty or Bet.
to get that fade line a little bit too. You can take some and then tap it off so there's not quite as much and then tap so it's a little more faded. If you guys are using other liquids, you might want to just do this in like three passes instead of four like I'm doing plus a dip of clear. Um, I do think that doing four passes though has really helped me to like blend the line a lot better and make sure that my like white is actually showing up. So you know. Play with it, do a couple swatches to practice. I always recommend doing a swatch of something that you're gonna do before doing it so that you can practice and see what you kind of like or don't like what you're gonna do. I'm going to do an Aurora and Dupsy Ombre on my ring finger instead of just doing Aurora. Or just Dupsy, I mean. the like side there so I'm just gonna take my brush get it all over my finger but also get it on the side of my nail also when you buff all this I got on my finger it's gonna buff right off, so no worries there. Okay, so we're done with Betty or Bet or whatever. Close that. I'm gonna do just a dip of Aurora. Possibly two. And then I'll ombre from the tip doopsy. You set your brush down and then you push it back to your cuticle and pull it out. Okay, let's get in here. Let's 
Fancy. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. Do you ever get nervous that you're gonna just like fuck it up? Me too. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna go for where I, the little ones are because the big ones I can basically place myself if I need to. Oh, that seems like a lot. Okay. And then. You know what? I'm gonna use this one because I can be more precise. So again, I'm gonna go for the little glitter. And just tap it ever so gently. Good and saturated. Okay. Now here's the thing I also like to do when it's like super chunky glitter like this, guys. I like to just like take some, put it on my paper towel. Take a toothpick. And just like place them yourself. Take our plastic bag and just tap down the ones we've already gotten on there. Tap those guys down. Hold on. My camera's dying. Oh, sorry about that. I'm back. My camera's dying. So like I said, I took the plastic bag and I tapped that down. And then I'm gonna take a little more base over my nail, over the glitters. I'm gonna take my toothpick and I'm just gonna place things where I want them. So I take a little, look at the big one. As far as like where to place them, it's like mm, wherever makes sense to you. Do make sure you like get the sides and stuff too though. I always try to kind of like bring it down a little further on the sides and then like kind of, you know, the way it looks round. Is it cute? I think it's cute. Okay, 
So, at this point, I'm going to, I'm gonna come back to this one to do a dip of clear. I'm gonna dip all the rest of them in clear first, and then just dip it, and then dip this one in clear in hopes that this will like dry a little bit first. So I'm gonna do all of that, and then I will show you guys a picture, okay? that video did you learn something is it something that you think that you could do I really hope so and if you do do a baby boomer make sure that you tag me on Instagram I love seeing your guys's photos of you know techniques that I sh have showed you and you guys implementing them it makes me so happy in my soul so if you're not following me on Instagram go hit me up go hit me up over there we have a lot of fun I post a couple of times a weeks a week and yeah Go ahead and like this video if you liked it and shoot me a comment. If you have something that you would like to see, let me know. I love doing videos that you guys wanna see like this one. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye! It's a, it's just a, who's talking to you? Who's talking to you? Did I wash my hair today? No. But did I wash it yesterday? Also no. I have dry shampoo though, so that's, that's a thing that I have. It's hard sometimes, you know, when you live on the road, it's hard to, I should have washed it when we went to the gym yesterday, but I was like, oh, I'm gonna shower tomorrow. But then, you know, life of the trucker, it's not always planned. Anyway.